My name is Trisha Buckle, I'm Head of HR and I work for the Epilepsy Society. Not everybody who works for the Epilepsy Society needs DBS clearance, but many of them work with very vulnerable adults, which means we need to be ensured as the employer that they are enhanced in terms of a DBS check. The checks are quite labour intensive. It usually ends up with people coming into the office and seeing and speaking to Sam to make sure they've understood what's required. My name's Barbara Ball and I'm the manager of the disclosure department for CCPAS. From the church's point of view, all they want to do is get someone processed quickly and start work with children. The applicant might come along to them with their existing disclosure certificates and the recruiter has to tell them that they will need to apply for a new one. So that it's quite feasible that an applicant can have had several disclosure certificates um, but they still still need to do a new one for that organisation. Hi, my name is Jill Lane. I work for the Aldershaw Academy. I'm in charge of the DBS certificates. There is lots of form filling and there is an awful lot of paperwork involved. This is a big responsibility really. This shelf here is taken up with all my DBS paperwork. When people come in for applications, I have to make sure that their paperwork is correct and I keep copies of their certificate of verification forms that I need to fill in and also the certificates that the LEA sends through to me. Hello, I'm Mark Favager. I work here at the Disclosure and Barring Service. And what I'd like to do today is to tell you a little bit about the new service. This service should help many of our customers by allowing them to reuse their criminal record check and therefore stop the hassle, time and issues of them having to reapply each time they need a new one. When an individual now turns up with their criminal record check, they'll be able to carry out a free online check to see if that certificate is still up to date or if any new information has been released. This will speed up their recruitment practice, reduce their costs and improve the safeguarding landscape. For employers, it's going to take them just three clicks to check out the status of a certificate. And when you've done that, you'll know whether you can take that person on or not. And the best bit that stuck a chord with me, it's just three clicks away. I'd be able to check on somebody's status without filling in a lot of paperwork and it, it couldn't, couldn't be simpler really. We've had a lot of interest from local recruiters in churches and other organisations. I know uh, for a fact that they're going to be very excited about this new service because it means they haven't got to keep doing endless DBS checks and I think it will significantly reduce their workload and help them to save costs as well. It's really good news. It's as if they've been listening to what employers and people have been saying their concerns are with the current system. My expectation is it will speed up the recruitment process. I'm sure sure a number of our employees that work for us and other organisations will see the financial benefits of this. Um, undoubtedly it's going to be saving them money not having to have multiple checks with numbers of organisations. We've got the assurance that the checking that we're viewing for individuals is up to date, um, it's for the right workforce and it's current and is good safeguarding.